we need to determine the type of isomerism shown over here. So remember that isomers are molecules that have the same amount of each element. So on the left, we can see there are four, four carbons. On the right, there are four carbons. There would be 10 hydrogens on the left. And if you had to go count, there would be 10 hydrogens on the right. So these are isomers. Now you get different types, chain, positional, functional. So if we're to look at the main, um, okay, well let, let's quickly cross out um, functional. Functional will only be if the homologous groups are different. So like you have an aldehyde and a ketone or a carboxylic acid and an ester. But if you look at this molecule, this is an alkane. If you look at this molecule, this is an alkane. So it cannot be functional. Because it's not functional, or well, because, it, yeah, so it's not functional, so it could either be positional or chain. So if we look at the, the main chain, if you look here, this one has one, two, three, four carbons in the main chain. This one has one, two, three in the main chain. So because the chain is different, the chain is like the, 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 the backbone, okay? Um, this one, the longest is four, which would be but. This one, the longest that you'd ever be able to make is three, so that's prop. So you see that that's different. So this would be chain isomerism. Okay, so the answer is chain.